Hello everyone! In this video I will show you a couple of scripts that will help you to detect long mouse click and double click. Let's see what do we have in our scene. The only game object here is click checker, that is just empty game object with two scripts attached, which are long click and double click. Let's take a look at them. First one is long click. It's very simple. Here we have start time and end time variables, which represent timestamps, when we press down left mouse button and when we release it. In start method we set them both to zero. Then in update method we check if left mouse button is pressed down and if it is, then we mark when it happens as start time. Then if left mouse button is released, then time when it happens is marked as end time. Finally we check if the difference between end and start time is greater than half of a second, then we consider that long click was performed and we send corresponding message to the console. Start time and end time are resetted to let us perform new long click. That's the script. Double click script is a bit more complicated, but not too much. So here we have first click time variable, which will hold time stamp of the first click. Time between clicks variable represents an amount of time that we have to perform the second click. Coroutine allowed variable will help us not to start new coroutine while one is running. Click counter variable will hold number of clicks. In start method we set first click time to zero, set time between click to 0.2, so we have 0.2 seconds to perform double click. Click counter is set to zero and coroutine is allowed initially. In update method we check if left mouse button is clicked, is released actually, then we increment click counter by 1. And if click counter equals to 1 and coroutine is allowed, then we mark first click time and start coroutine named double click detection. In this coroutine we set coroutine allowed to false first, so new coroutine will not be started until this one is over. Then we have a loop that is running while current time is less than first click time plus time between clicks. In the other words, this loop runs 0.2 seconds. So within this short time period, we check if click counter becomes equal to 2, what can happen if we click left mouse button during the coroutine. If it happens, then we send corresponding message to the console and exit the loop. Each loop iteration lasts to the end of the current frame. So each frame we check if double click is performed. Finally, if double click was performed or coroutine was finished without detecting of double click, then click counter, first click time and coroutine allowed variables were resetted. That's the script. So as I said, these two scripts are attached to click checker and allow us to detect long and double clicks. Hope this tutorial was useful for you. Thank you for watching. See you next time.